Om Shanti. Date is 18th July 2023. Morning Murli, Avdada, Madhuban. Essence of the Murli is, sweet children, you have come to this spiritual university to change from Buddhus, that is the foolish ones, into wise ones. So Baba is saying that we children come here to make ourselves the wise ones because we are Buddhus. Wise means pure. You are now studying this study to become pure and to become in order to become pure we have to study this knowledge question what are the main signs of wise children answer wise children constantly play with knowledge they are always intoxicated by this godly intoxication all the knowledge of the world cycle is in their intellects so these are the main signs of the children who are wise which means that who become pure so the first one is they continue to play with this knowledge which means that they continue to keep studying this knowledge every day and they are intoxicated in this godly intoxication and in their intellects the knowledge of the world cycle remains they have the intoxication our baba has come from the supreme adob for us and we resided with him in the supreme adobe and they always have this intoxication that we reside with our baba in the supreme adobe and our baba has come from the sweet home to teach us this knowledge our baba is the ocean of knowledge and we have become master oceans of knowledge he has come to give us the inheritance of liberation and liberation in life so all these are the signs of wise children so who has come to the door of my heart om shanti the soul of the living being knows that our supreme father the supreme soul is personally teaching us he is teaching us raj yoga therefore it is as though this is a godly university why is it called a university it isn't that all other universities are for the universe no they are not for the universe so they shouldn't be called universities here you children know that this is the true godly university however none of them can understand this because they are buddhus only the father makes buddhus wise so baba is saying that other universities in the world cannot be called as godly universities it is just this university where the god himself comes and teaches the true knowledge and it is only the father who makes the buddhus into wise ones human beings bow down in front of those who are wise they bow down to the deity idols and sannyasis etc sannyasis are pure and so they are definitely wise they consider purity to be good that wise of lust causes distress for human beings this is why householders consider sannyasis who remain pure to be wise and bow down at their feet as soon as they see someone wearing the costume of a sannyasi they instantly bow down to him yes so baba is saying that those who are pure they are definitely wise baba is giving here examples of the deity idols and sannyasis now even in the normal logic world when people see any sannyasi they go to they instantly go and bow down to them why because they are pure and nowadays because of the lust 
there is a lot of distress in human beings. So they consider who remain pure to be wise. However, regard for them has now decreased. And this is why people take every step with great caution. But however, even regard for the sannyasis has decreased now. So people take every step with caution. Previously, when they saw a sannyasi, they would instantly invite him. Swamiji, come to our house. There are now too many of them and they have now become Tamo Pradhan. So initially, the sannyasis were what pure and wise but nowadays due to the world becoming tamo pradhan even there are vices in sannyasis so people think before inviting them to and this is why there is only regard for those who are very well known even eminent people bow down to them why those eminent people are more educated than sannyasis but sannyasis are pure because they have adopted renunciation and this is why they are considered to be wise you are now becoming wise you now know the creator and the beginning middle and end of creation however among you two not all of you have that intoxication so even we children have the knowledge of the creator that is the shiv baba and the middle beginning and end of his creation but even in us, there are not all children who have that intoxication. It takes a lot of time for that intoxication to rise. Only at the end will there be complete intoxication. Now, the more effort you make, the more your intoxication continues to rise. You should constantly remember that the Supreme Soul, the Father of a soul has come. He is teaching us in order to make us into the masters of the world. Therefore, you should have the pure concern to make effort. Not all of you have that concern. So Baba is saying that not all children have this concern that the Supreme Father comes and teaches us and makes us into the masters of the world. So we need to have that pure concern and how will we have that concern by making effort at the time of listening to this their intoxication rises but as soon as they go outside everything ends it is number wise so when they come to the murgi class or listen to this knowledge they their intoxication level rises but as soon as they go out of the center everything ends so that is why it is said it is number wise the father of our souls has come he used to reside with him in the supreme sorry we used to reside with him in the supreme adobe no one else understands this sages and sannyasis etc are pure you too are number wise not everyone has the faith that our supreme father the supreme soul is the ocean of knowledge the bestower of liberation in life and he is making us into the masters of heaven as soon as you step outside of here that happiness disappears otherwise you children should have so much happiness I have taken the support of this body, that is Brahma's body. How else would I teach you Raj Yoga? I don't have a body of my own. If you look at all of those in the temples, they have their own bodies, whereas I am bodiless. All others have received an angelic or corporeal body. I don't have a body. There is the Somnath temple and even if you go to the Shiva temples, they have incorporeal forms there. It is just that they have given him different names. You know that souls come here from the supreme adobe. Souls adopt different bodies and play their parts. I do not enter the cycle of 84 birds. 
I am the resident of the supreme ado. I have entered this body. You would ask, how does the incorporeal one come? Yes, he can come. When you offer food to a departed soul, that soul comes. Does he not? So Baba is asking us that when children ask that how does incorporeal one come? So Baba here is giving an example that when the ancestor soul comes in body of a soul, then how do they come? The body of that soul doesn't come. The soul enters another body. You understand that the soul enters another person's body. The souls of some ghosts are very mischievous. They throw stones, etc. Only when a soul enters a body can he do something. This is called a ghost. Impure souls also enter others. So Baba is even telling that when the souls are behave mischievously or they throw stones, and those are called a ghost ghost souls. And it is only when a soul enters a body he can do something. But if a soul does not have a body, they cannot perform any actions. You children have experienced how impure souls wander around until they receive their own bodies. Pure souls also come. This too is fixed in the drama. So in the drama, the pure souls also take body, also take another body since they don't have their own body. So this is also fixed in the drama. Whatever has passed is said to be the playing of the drama. The father explains, I come and enter an ordinary old body. He would definitely need the body of an experienced person. Brahma's name is very well known and Brahma's advice is also well known. Where did Brahma receive advice from? Brahma is Shiv Baba's child. His advice is Srimad. And so the main Srimad has to be through Brahma who the father enters. The people of Bharat don't know these things. They think that all are one. They believe that Sri Krishna, Shiva, etc. are all the same. They call Sri Krishna, Mahatma or Yogeshwar. But they don't know why they call him that. So Baba is saying that people of the Bharat does not know all these things that Shiv Baba comes takes the body of Brahma and explains this knowledge. They have even, they believe that Sri Krishna and Shiva all are the same because they don't know why they call him that. They don't have the knowledge. The Sri Krishna soul is now studying yoga with Ishwar, Lord title of Shiva and becoming Yogeshwar, that is Lord of Yoga. This is such an incognito secret. People say that God is beyond name and form and that he doesn't have a body. However, you say that the Somna temple is a memorial of the incarnation of Shiva. Shiv Baba surely came in the previous cycle and he has now come again. Then the worship of him will start in the copper age. People celebrate Shivratri. That is night of Shiva. Father sits here and explains. You souls came here from the supreme ado to play your parts. Souls are imperishable and they have parts of 84 birds recorded in them. Just as the father has entered an old body. In the same way, you are also in old bodies. Baba liberates you from your old bodies and gives you new bodies. He shows you the way to change from being worthless shells into valuable diamonds. So it is Baba who gives us this knowledge and liberates us from the old bodies, that is the bodies of wises and makes us into valuable diamonds. It is sung, the beloved is only one. The father says, 
I am the resident of the supreme adobe. You two are residents of the supreme adobe. I have come in the oldest body of all. Those are also your oldest impure bodies of your final 84th birth. You consider yourselves to be souls. We have completed our 84 births and we are now to receive new bodies in the new world. So this is our final birth of the 84th birth. So 84th birth. So this is the oldest impure bodies. Therefore, you should remain so happy. It is number wise. Some are completely dull headed. Maya has completely turned their intellects to stone. That is though they don't. Some children are so dull headed that they don't understand this knowledge. It is because Maya has turned their intellects to stone. It is like when you sprinkle water on a hot griddle and it instantly dries up. They are such hot griddles. Oh, but you just have to consider yourselves to be souls, children of the father. However, they do not consider themselves to be those. So Baba is saying it is very simple that we just have to consider ourselves to be souls, that we are the children of the supreme father. But the dull headed souls do, does not understand these this if souls do consider themselves to be those why do they become those who are amazed and then run away it is because maya is very powerful if you are careless maya will slap you oh baba has come to give you the inheritance and yet you become by vicious she slaps you very strongly. The father does not slap you. So it is Maya who slaps us. That and we become vicious. It's not the father. Maya slaps you hard and turns your faces away. There are many who continue to be slapped by Maya. Maya also says, you don't remember the father and so I slap you. Maya has been given the order. So Maya says that if we don't remember the father, she slaps us. She has been given the order. Those who are without wisdom have to be made wise. Therefore, why don't you do service? You are still going to experience the slippers from Maya? Baba is asking. Many continue to experience the slipper. Some experience the slipper of anger and some experience the slipper of attachment. The father says, just surrender everything and live as a trustee. Not Sorry, the father says, Yes, just surrender everything and live as a trustee. Even this body of ours is not ours. So Baba is saying live as a trustee so that we won't have any attachment or greed towards anything. When you have donated the vices, why do you take them back and use them again? Baba is asking, vices don't have a form. With regard to your money, you are told to live as a trustee. You may use it, but with great care and with the father's shrimat. You mustn't commit any sin with that money. So Baba is saying, even with the money, we are given shrimat to live as a trustee. And we have to take great care while following the father's shrimat using this money. We must not give money to anyone just like that. Because if they commit any sin, it we become part of that sin too. So we have to be very careful even giving money to others. Otherwise, you will accumulate the burden of that on your head. Maya is very Tamo Pradhan and she knows when you are not remembering the father very well. And so she thinks, punch that one. Maya says, if you don't remember the father, or your inheritance, I will slap you. Many children write, Baba, Maya slapped me. Baba writes that, yes, children, Maya has been given an order. 
slap them a great deal when they do not belong to me. Even Maya has been given an order that if the children does not remember the father, then she has the right to slap them. I have come to make you constantly happy, but in spite of that, you children don't remember me. It is very easy, but it does take time. Otherwise, the mercury of happiness would rise by your remembering the father and the inheritance. Eventually, while remembering Baba, you will just feel a little jerk and okay i am now going to baba then i will go to heaven it will be as though you just have complete godly intoxication and go back home acha no one knows that souls are lovers of the supreme father the supreme soul you are true lovers you have been his lovers for half a cycle and have been remembering the beloved a great deal. However, you didn't know that souls are lovers of the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul. They say that each soul is the Supreme Soul and that the Supreme Soul is each soul. Here, there is a great difference. So people in the world say that each soul is the supreme soul and supreme soul is each soul. But it is not so. There is a great difference. You know that God is the beloved. That pure soul is making us so beautiful. When we souls become dirty, our jewelry, that is the bodies, also become dirty. Baba has come once again to make you beautiful and you will then receive golden aged bodies. They mix alloy into gold. Now just see that is the Adi Dev temple. Someone named him Mahavir, but they don't know the meaning of that at all. So Baba is saying here in the Iron Age, they mix alloy into gold. We can see that in the Adi Dev temple where they have named him Mahavir because they don't know the meaning of anything. They even call you Hanuman Mahavir. There is such a vast difference between calling Hanuman Mahavir and then calling Adi Dev Mahavir. Whatever the Jain Maharaj Muni said, that continued to be accepted. Nowadays, there is a lot of occult power. This Baba knows everything. People make a lot of effort. They even make saffron emerge from their hands. People think that this, that, that is a wonder and quickly become their followers. Those who have occult powers have many followers. It is not like that here. Baba says, I have come exactly as I did 5,000 years ago. No one else can say this. Children say, Baba, we came 5,000 years ago and attained the inheritance of heaven from you. We have now come once again and become the children of the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul Shiva through this Brahma. The world is in the Iron Age. Where would Brahmins come from in the Iron Age? Brahmins are needed at the Confluence Age. The feet and the top knot come together. So that is a confluence. The confluence of Shudras and Brahmins. You change from Shudras into Brahmins. No one knows this cycle of 84 words. You know that you are Brahmins and that you have become the children of Brahma in a practical way. You can tell those Brahmins. You Brahmins call yourselves children of Brahma. But who is the father of Brahma? They won't be able to tell you. This it is like pebbles in a tin can. They would simply say, we Brahmins are God. All of you were devotees and you now say, we are becoming worthy of marrying Lakshmi. You are making effort for this. For instance, just remember that you came from the supreme Ado. Baba has now come 
once again to take us back. So Baba is teaching us how we can remember him. Just remember that we came from the Supreme Ado and Baba has now come once again to take us back. We too are the masters of Brahman. Baba has entered an old body. We too are in old bodies. The father says, I also have to take an old body. Now remember me, the father, and your sins will be absorbed. He gives you time. You have to serve the Pandava government for a minimum of eight hours. We can do our job. That would be for minimum eight hours. You also have to teach Raj Yoga and blow the conch shell. You made Bharat into particular and the world in general into heaven with Srimad. Only you go to the heaven. Those of other religions do not go there. So it is us, the Brahmins, who goes to the heaven. No other souls of other religion would go to heaven. Brahmins, deities, warriors, merchants and shudras are called the variety form image. You should create such a picture of the variety form image that people are easily able to understand. They have shown Vishnu as the variety form image. A picture is definitely needed. They have pictures in schools. Otherwise, little children would not know what an elephant is. So Baba is saying that we can do service even with a picture and there is always a need of picture. So Baba is saying that even in schools, we have pictures. If there are no pictures, then the little children would not be able to understand they are shown a picture of it so here there are the four ages it is now the iron age and the cycle will definitely turn brahmins exist at the confluence age the others are physical brahmins guides they are not the mouth born creation of brahma the mouth born creation of brahma receives the inheritance from the grandfather those Brahmins don't receive the inheritance. You too understand these things number wise. Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost, and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Bab Dada. The spiritual father says, Namaste to the spiritual children. We, the spiritual children, say Namaste to the spiritual father. Mithe mithe sikhilade bachu prati mat pita bab dada ka yad pyar or good morning. Ruhani bab ki ruhani bachu ko namaste. Hum ruhani bachu ki ruhani mat pita bab dada ko yad pyar good morning or namaste. Shukriya baba. Essence for dhana. Point number one, surrender everything with your intellect and live as a trustee. Perform every task with great caution according to Srimad. So we have to surrender everything with our intellect and live as a trustee and perform every task according to the Srimad. Number two, remember Baba and the inheritance and experience limitless and experience limitless happiness. While in remembrance of Baba, experience godly intoxication, become a true lover. Remembering Baba and experiencing limitless happiness. And when we remember Baba, we experience godly intoxication. So we become a true lover. Blessing. May you practice concentration and stability with the powers to merge and to back up and become an embodiment of the essence. There is a huge expansion of your body, bodily relations and possessions in order to put all types of expansions into their essence. You need the powers to merge and to 
pack up, merge all types of expansion into the one point. I am a point. The father is a point. The whole world is merged in the one point. The father. To be a point form, that is, to be an embodiment of the essence, means to be concentrated. By practicing this concentration, you can stabilize your intellect wherever and whenever you want in a second. So we have to practice the power of concentration using the power to merge and pack up. Slogan, those who stay constantly in the stage of spirituality are spiritual roses. Om Shanti.